Hi there, welcome to DoD Media. Today I'm going to show you how you can export a freeze frame or a still image from one specific part on a timeline or a composition. I'm going to show you this in After Effects and in Premiere Pro. Let's start with After Effects. So here we are in After Effects. I've got this clip already brought in uh, to save you time with me faffing around trying to load it in. Now, as you can see, like I can scrub through and there's my, my smug face chatting away. Uh, but if we go to the very end frame and we say we want to export this. Now, there's a few things we can do. We can export it as one single frame by coming up to composition and going save frame as file. Or you can export it as Photoshop layers. If you've got, say, 20 different composition elements here and you want to export them as Photoshop layers so that you can play around with that one still image. If you're doing infographic work, for example, this is great because you can mess around with things on a composition easily and then bring them back in as that Photoshop layer and play with those elements again. But for the sake of this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can do one freeze frame. So by going to save frame as file, or you can just do the shortcut option command S or on a, on a PC, I think it would be alt control S. Uh, just click that. You choose where you want to have it. So I'm going to put it there. That's the default name that it gives it. It looks at the composition name and then it gives it a um, it gives it a sequence of frame frame numbers. So if I just say um, After Effects freeze frame, okay. Now the file format is JPEG. That's because I've changed the default from Photoshop to JPEG because. I often send still images to clients, uh, screenshots, if you will, of a rough mock-up in After Effects so that they can see it nearly like a, um, like a storyboard. And I just, it saves me that extra step of having to convert the Photoshop files into JPEGs because I don't want to give them layers, I just want to give them that one shareable small file. So, save in subfolder, let's call it freeze frames. Okay. Now you'll see it loads it up in your render queue and you've got basically you can come in here to JPEG uh, frame and you've got your format. You can choose whether you want it to be a JPEG, if you want it to be a Photoshop sequence, a PNG sequence. Basically ignore the sequence in this case. You just choose what file format you want it to be. If you want it to be in a more um, uncompressed format, you can go for TIFF or Photoshop. If you want it to be more compressed, you can go for PNG or JPEG. Uh, I'll just stick with JPEG, that's fine. And OK. And then render. Boom, it's done, it's very quick. There's no hassle. Now, if you did want to change this as a default when you go up to composition, save frame as, um, and you didn't want it to be a JPEG, say you wanted it to be a TIFF or Photoshop uh, file or that kind of thing. Well, what you do is you come up to edit, you go to templates and then output module. And now here you can see your frame default is JPEG frame, right? So let's say that we want, like what have we got here? We've got a load of stuff. Let's say we want a new one. All right, we want the format to be, well, let's go for TIFF bit less compressed. Uh, post render action, no we don't need any of that. The channels, we want it to be RGB, millions of colors, pre-multiplied. Uh, if you need a certain TIFF compression then go for it, I don't bother. Uh, use the comp frame number, that's cool. Uh, that way you can see where the still frame is from exactly in your composition and go back to that spot if you need to. You can resize it if you need to, you can crop it if you need to. I'm, I'm not going to do any of that. Okay, and the settings name, we're going to call it um, TIFF frame. Okay, now you see TIFF frame shows up there. So the frame default, let's change that to TIFF frame. Okay, and if we come back here, go up to composition, save frame as file. By default, it's TIFF frame. Now, if you think, okay, well, I need TIFF frame and I need JPEG frame, just hit this little plus here and it'll add another output module to this current queue. And then you can change that to uh, JPEG frame. 
and that way it'll output two images. One will be a TIFF and one will be a JPEG. And there you go, you hit render and Bob's your uncle. So let me just delete these and now we can head over to Premiere and I'll show you how to do this from Premiere. All right, so here we are in Premiere and I've got to say it's considerably easier from Premiere Pro to do this than it is in After Effects. All you have to do is come up to this little button here or as you see the shortcut there is Shift E. And if you're not seeing this and you load up your button editor, and there you'll see the little camera if it's not down in this tab here. There it is there, look. Okay, so you just press that. The export frame window comes up. You can name your file. Uh, let's call it freeze frame. What did I say? After Effects before, so Premiere, this one. You choose your format. You want it DPX, JPEG, PNG, Targa, or TIFF. Uh, let's go for JPEG. Volumes, now I don't need that volume there. So I want it to be in freeze frames here. AE freeze frame, I'm gonna go for PR freeze frame. You can even import it into the project if you want, but I'm not going to. Hit OK, and it's done. You have a full resolution frame that is the resolution of your comp, of your uh, sequence, and you can send that off to whoever you want. All right, I hope you found this helpful. I hope that you use it, and I hope that you do some cool creative stuff like cutting someone off right in the middle of their sentence.